Morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing well and in high spirits. I got bricks. Remember in the old days when you would get a brick and then it looked like this and it smelled like gasoline? I don't. But this is how I drink tea. I buy it by the brick and then I buy uh, bricks that are green and I put them in storage and then 10 years later I pull them out and they're delicious. Sometimes they're a little bit astringent when they're green but when you age them, they, they, they smooth out. This is Pu'er tea, P-U-H-E-R, um, or P-U-E-R. And so what I do is I take it, and then I put it in this little holder. And mind you, a connoisseur would probably do this a lot different. They would get the water temperature exact. They would... Um, you know, that they would time how long the water steeps. But this is how I buy it. And I put it in there. I have a little electric teapot. Fill it up. And the first one actually gets thrown away. Um, so let me throw this out. You don't got to move the camera. Just keep it where you're at. And then, once that one's thrown out, I go again. I, I kind of like it at that color. And then, so puerti, it uh, binds fat and cholesterol and gets it out of your blood. So if you're gonna eat like a lot of uh, fat or, or some meat, this is good tea to drink because it will grab the fat and take it out of your body. A lot of other people drink tea as a weight loss, but that's because it has caffeine. And so they're basically wired and not eating. With this tea, um, it's not caffeine. It's a whole different chemical in the tea that um, doesn't keep you awake but can give you mental alertness. And the other thing about this tea I like is I could be a snob sometimes, I think. And most uh, teas have a, a shelf life. You can't keep them for too long. But this kind of tea right here, it, um, it can create a vintage. It's aged. And so you might find a 50-year-old poor tea that's $20,000 for a brick like this, or even $150,000 for a brick like this. Uh, this one was not even a thousand, um, not even 500. So that that's a cool thing about these teas is that you can get vintages and, um, and grow with it. Anyways, I'm gonna go cool this off because I got some water on it. I don't want it to get mold. Um, so have a good one, enjoy your day. If you get a chance, check out some poor tea.